Hey everybody, I'm going to share some ideas with you about mobility, uh, specifically what I call loaded mobility. And so, uh, movement is part science and part art. And so science, that's biomechanics, that's efficient movement, uh, use of force, physics. So it's also the quantifiable data, things like reps, sets, time. Uh, the greater body of work is the art, and that is the expression, how do you move? So with the mobility, uh, I'm just gonna show you some ideas, stimulate ideas, ways that I like to train, how I like to load. And my tool of choice is the, is the kettlebell for that, for specific reasons in terms of how it sits on the bones and the, and the structure to where it's as if you're not holding anything at all. Okay, so uh, it's not really a tutorial. Okay, so if you have questions, please ask. I'm just going to show you ideas about progression and how we can build on movement complexity. With the mobility, again, which flexibility, that's you can move within a range of motion. Mobility is you're able to move within the range of motion with control, with speed, with power, and now it, it becomes athletic flexibility. Okay, and that's the mobility. So we have what we call the knee spin. And I'm limited space, so I'm gonna. Okay, so now there's a lot there. Okay, we have this, we have this, we have this. There's regressions. Yeah, I can use my hands as necessary okay because you have to ease into things we can't rush it and then there's progressions okay okay so the first progression i would say is doing the movement you know do it correctly slowly now start to do it correctly quickly. And then we can get into the loaded mobility. Okay, so that can be one progression here. Now I wanna I want to have the next progression. Okay. Now you want to have some space, but my frame's not that large, so that's why I'm going back and forth. Ideally, you're just going to keep going in one direction, come back the other direction. Okay, and then now I can layer this further. And then of course, I want to do this to both sides. So you can repeat the same process. Now the other side, it's going to load differently. Okay. And again, layering.
and layering further. Okay, so regardless of the level, uh, we can make things uh, always more challenging through understanding how to layer uh, complexity and the kettlebell is a great way to do that. And then it's a good idea that, you know, that, that overhead, it's gonna get that heart rate going real fast. You got that overhead, but now you come back to the body weight pattern and grain the movement. And you kind of start to finish with the essentials. And that gives you a little look behind the scenes into the mind of me and how uh, I like to play with combining the mobility and the kettlebell for a match made in heaven, 51 years old, still going strong. So if I can help you just reach out and I'll be happy to do it.